Hey there Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot for the week starting March 18th, 2024. So remember, we're doing the astrology as your weather and the tarot as your traffic. On the 21st, we have a double action day going on with the sun in Aries, your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, and helpful third parties forming a beautiful sextile to Pluto in your sign. And this is all about decisive action, unlocking doors. And there is likely going to be some very important call, power move, or maybe third party hookup or action being taken that is helping you to get out of a gridlocked space in your life. Now, this could be something where you are joining forces and collaborating and going your own way, or they could be taking this upon themselves with or without your knowledge, but still doing something that is of really good benefit to you. We have also, however, Venus conjunct Saturn in Pisces on the same day. And this is your second house of income, employment, values, and valuables. And with Venus conjunct Saturn, there is likely going to be an important detached decision going on here. Some kind of important commitment, new law of the land, new rule, new normal. When we have this happen, in the bigger picture, this is good for everybody, right? Highest interest of all concerned. However, it might not necessarily look like such to everybody in the in the very beginning of it all. And so while it is a good thing and it will show its quality as we go through the rest of the month and on into April, you may have some issues come up when it comes to dealing with coworkers, clients, customers, colleagues, or possibly even bosses around this decision. Remember, not everybody is a good big picture thinker. And sometimes they can only think about what they're feeling about something in the moment. And that can make them very difficult to know. On the 24th, we've got Venus in that second house of income and employment, forming a beautiful sextile to Jupiter in Taurus, your fourth house of home, family, living situation, home economy, and your roots. And this is all about generous deeds. And there is likely going to be some kind of very important gift or proposition, offer, or handoff going on that is going to allow you and your family or your living situation to move on up in the world, kind of give things a little bit more of a shine, financially speaking. So that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Aquarius, let's have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your tarot and your traffic for this week. We're just going to move our selenite there and get down to business. Let me just charge these up and we'll be good to go. Okay, let's do this. Money, career, personal path and well-being irrespective of others, home and family, love, romance and partnerships, community, friends and contacts, and of course, your advice or guidance with regards to the themes of this week. So for your finances, you've got the Six of Swords reversed. 
And so this week, there could be a lot of interesting returns, revisits, or turnarounds going on with a lot of financial plans, or maybe just a financial state or situation in general. On the positive, this can actually indicate a return or a revisit of old money or old financial opportunities. However, I do feel that there could be some delays or reroutes also going on when it comes to short and long-term financial plans that you have in motion. This can still be a very good card because this can indicate a recharge or even redirecting away from things that are not directions we want to go, but you might be getting turned around quite a bit as we go through the week. For your career, your work life, anything relating to just life at the office, or again, even another, you could see this is another business card, another money card. We've got the seven of wands upright. So things are going to be quite busy for you. In fact, with the seven of wands upright, you're probably going to be having a week where it does feel like you got to burn the candle at both ends or you got to find some extra hours in the day. On the plus, this is actually really good for making some serious headway when it comes to plans maybe you have for the rest of the month, getting ahead on assignments, and even scoring some competitive wins when it comes to reputation points, you know, rising up in your own prominence and status with the people around you. You are also going to find that this week there's going to be something that helps you to get on top of an overwhelming or oppressive situation that has kind of become almost an unhappy norm at work or in your career, which is also very nice. Just be ready, though. You are going to need to be active, more engaged and involved than maybe you're used to, and it's going to be a time for you to throw your weight around as well. For your personal path and well-being, irrespective of other people, you've got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And so this week is really all about preparing for transitions that are going to be forecast for later on, maybe in the year, later on uh, in the season, you know, as we go into the next few months. The Ten of Pentacles reversed is a heads up card. A lot of changes, a lot of transitions, a lot of moves, you know, that whether we know about them or planned on them or not are going to be, you know, shown to us, but they're not all happening right now. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, it's important to pay attention to where this is likely necessary and even good for you, but you are going to need to be ready to just sort of, okay, I got to adapt, I've got to adjust, you know, there's sort of a countdown that's beginning with a lot of circumstances in my world this week, but you will be taken care of, you will be supplied with what you need to get through this comfortably. And again, it's going to be for a lot of stuff, again, but not just for this week, even, you know, for down the road. For your home life and family living situation and home economy, you've got the Queen of Wands reversed. And there could be some drama or even uh, a full-on confrontation going on this week on the family front or on the home front. The Queen of Wands reversed usually shows where somebody has been either bullying or attacking or antagonizing some corner of this part of your world. Now, this could be a family member acting out or somebody connected to the family or, or maybe connected to a family member or a friend of the family in that way. A lot of the times with the Queen of Wands reversed, we do see somebody who is brash, somebody who is perhaps even a bit histrionic, overexcitable, um, somebody who is extremely hostile and belligerent, or somebody who is attempting to blackmail abuse or just stir up issues where they don't belong and whether you are helping out somebody who is dealing with this person or confronting them yourself it is going to be a point of some stress here but i think it might be necessary because the good news is is this card is also indicating we get a chance to undo or reverse the work that they've done when we do that and even undo or reverse what you could call their legacy, uh, the mark they may have left with other actions they've made in the past. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Three of Pentacles reversed. And the Three of Pentacles reversed is all about joint efforts and teamwork, 
breakdowns, uh, things that are not working out because people either are taking on the wrong jobs, they're doing the wrong goals, or they're not working together on the same aspects of a, a given priority. There could be something that comes up this week where you and a partner are just finding that a certain effort that you're making is not making the headway that you want. And with the Three of Pentacles reversed, it could be that we are shorthanded or we have, are finding that we're working with the wrong people or with the wrong resources. And so there could be some course corrections in order because of that. This is also indicating that we might even need to pull back from something that we have sort of tried to make work, but again, either under the wrong circumstances, with the wrong tools, or with the wrong techniques. And this could create some conflict in a relationship. This could cause a, a butting of heads, but it's better that we revise this now because we can always turn this right side up if we do. For you single or available Aquarian people, this is a card that indicates that you might be finding that you and a new person or maybe even somebody recent are getting off on the wrong foot. And it just has to do with an inability to find out what works best between us. A lot of the times this card will show up when people are trying to act in ways or take on certain priorities or roles that are just not natural to them. People are not behaving naturally. They're doing what they think they should do versus what they're good at. And so there's some stumbles and hopefully, you know, we can we can work that out in a way where people are playing to their strengths. For your community, friends, contacts, you've got the Fool reversed. And people seem to be playing up here as well. The Fool card reversed is showing that there may be something that we have to be ready to correct in terms of the mistake another person is making, that whether we are doing this because it's for their own good or for a greater good of some kind. The Fool Reversed is blocking an, a good new opportunity, a good change. This can maybe be because of closed-mindedness, somebody who is stuck in their ways, somebody who is looking a gift horse in the mouth or trying to shut down or prevent a good thing, whether they know it's good or not. This is usually a card of a resistance to change out of some kind of stubbornness or, or immaturity masking itself as maybe being set in one's ways. And sometimes just getting set in your ways is a sign of immaturity, believe it or not, even though we don't associate it that way. And there may be a friend or contact you gotta yeah, do something about with that. When it comes to your advice and your guidance, you've got the Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's time to take some personal audits when it comes to the world around you this week. The Eight of Pentacles reversed is all about checking details where the devil is, right? Making sure that things are actually have their I's dotted and their T's crossed. This is usually showing up as a piece of advice where we might be taking a few things for granted, whether it's, you know, how well things are going with certain people or how certain odd jobs or certain functions or system in our in, systems in our world are doing their thing. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, this is calling for a lot of tune-ups this week for you to get involved in or initiate yourself. And if you do, you can still have a very good week. But I would say, yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed, where we have maybe been a little bit lax, a little bit permissive, a little bit loosey-goosey, or just sort of live and let live, we might need to change our tact a little bit every once in a while. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.